Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna see the core part of the operating system or the command that uh, gives multiple insights of the operating system. So the topic you can think of is like uh, memory management. There are multiple things under the come this memory management. What but what today we're gonna see is how we can manage the memory or the RAM. So there is one command that is dedicated to the memory only so that is a free command in linux so this free so there are multiple commands in linux for this memory management or to check the memory status like one of the command we already discussed in the last few videos that is stop one command is like at stop but in this video we're going to discuss free that is totally a dedicated command for this memory so uh, the syntax of free command is something like that uh, we need to give the command name that is free then we need to give options there are multiple options we're going to discuss so this is a syntax of basically a free command now if only by default if we write free it will give us a memory status or the memory uh, memory things like how much memory we have so basically it's give the total memory how much used memory we have how much unused memory we have in the form of kilobytes so let's see on the console <coughs> if i write only free it will give me a output like this that is in a kilobyte so it's given me a like, total memory how much i have how much it's using by the system how much is free what is uh, the buffer and cache is used what is swap? So basically, there is uh, two types of memory you can think of. So <coughs> let me give you this first, so you can take it as types of memory. I'm not going to discuss this in very detail. Why? Because let's say first is we have memory, that is a physical memory or RAM. Second, we have buffers and cache. And the third thing we have is swap memory. Now, shared memory, we have a dedicated chapter if we are doing RHCSA as we are doing using this tutorials or this videos, the latest version RHC is 8, in that we have a dedicated chapter to this swap. And there we are going to discuss multiple command of swap, but let me give you the concept here, what basically the difference is. <coughs> So the, all the threes are having a different different use. So let's talk about buffer and cache, <laughs> memory and swap. So memory, all you know that uh, we have a program stored or the application stored command stored in the hard disk. If we want to run that program or command, we want that command to move on memory because CPU will only take the instructions from memory or CPU can only read the memory not the hard disk so memory is necessary if you want to run some particular application or some program files or some commands so that's why that memory is that is a physical memory in which uh, the program will be moved from hard disk to this place so CPU will uh, read from memory and CPU will do the things that uh, whatever uh, CPU, like CPU wants to do. Basically, if we run the date command that is in the hard disk, we want to run it, so we we need to move it to RAM. That is that memory, and CPU will only read from this RAM, and whatever written in this command program file, CPU will do that thing. One first thing. Second, buffer and caches is like a kind of memory only, or it's like a place in a memory inside some memory small 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 place. So let's say uh, frequently one application or one command or one program is frequently moving to the memory or RAM very frequently. So let's say you have a music system and you only open music once in a day. So that is not a frequent but you have a let's say a game PUBG you need to move it very frequent uh, to the memory or you want to play so that's why it moved to the memory. So as I told you in the earlier videos also, app is nothing but a combination of multiple program files. There are multiple program files and this combination is called app. So if that app is installed or all, all these program files is installed on hard disk, if you want to run it, we need to move it to RAM. So all these files will move to the RAM. So instead of moving it again and again, as uh, the operating system anal analyzes that in a day this PUBG game is using frequently so what operating system will do is whatever the files are moving from hard disk to RAM frequently 
operating system will keep those files at this place where in buffer and caches so buffer and caches we store the things or we store the files that are needed by the cpu very frequently so let's say in this application this is a main file of app but instead of all, all these files are like uh, one one file is for png logo what logo we are seeing of pubg one is for music background so instead of keeping it loading again and again on ram uh, operating system will analyze and uh, keep this file in buffer and cache so whatever is uh, will put in buffer and cache uh, cpu will access it faster so one thing you uh, will know uh, let's say uh, this is your home and this is your office you need to go from your home to office five times and 10 times a day again and again so instead of coming home again and again and then going office again and again there is one cafe nearby to office you will sit there so it's like a buffer and cache this cafe third thing is swap so when we use swap swap when we use when the memory or ram we have already so space is not enough to run uh, some process or to some application or some command then we will use swap swap is like a space but this space is located in hard disk so let's say in memory we have already uh, running let's say in your system or in a pc you have opened your music player you have opened your word you have opened your powerpoint multiple things you open but only you are using currently only this word and music is not uh, you are listening but still the files of this music are on ram present because you uh, you already open that particular ram same for powerpoint powerpoint files are also there on memory so what if like uh, multiple apps are there and all of those files are on memory so memory will get exhausted so what os will do is whatever the inactive files of any application like inactive files of this powerpoint or music that is not being in use currently that operating system will move those files to this place which place swap so this is a place in hard disk so that's why it's not consuming our memory or ram and it's saving our uh, ram to do the another task and those swap is uh, situated in hard disk so those pages or those inactive files will be moved here once needed again those files will be restored to the memory that is a swap there are multiple things in swap files like we can get swap files we can on or off the swap file on our requirement so all those discuss in the lecture of that swap only that is a part of rcsa 8 now let's move to the options of free command so we have multiple options we're going to discuss one by one so the first option i'm going to tell you is we are seeing this information in kb but if you want to see in let's say megabyte then there is option hyphen m see this much of memory i have in megabytes and this much is used and this much is free let's say i want to see it in gigabytes i have total this much of gigabyte ram it's not showing in use zero why because it's less than one gigabyte but in free it's showing c eight now let's say i want to update this uh, so it's giving output one time but i want it in real time so what i can do is after free there is one option hyphen s hyphen s means at how many it after how many seconds we gonna update the output of this free command dot say two seconds so in every two seconds the output of free command will be updating see so this command is similar to that we discussed in the last uh, video last second video that is watch command so watch free hyphen m so again it's updating in every two seconds so that is using watch with free hyphen m or using free with hyphen s to, that is the same thing basically there is not not in difference now let's say i want to see uh, the total memory present in my system so there is an option free hyphen t so see this is the total uh, memory and if you want to see in gigabytes then g c the same output now uh, in system free command is like a very uh, shortcut you can think of so it's like your desktop shortcut so that shortcut is created on your desktop but the actual file or actual app is uh, situated or located at some another place same way free is taking the information from some another source so free is like a shortcut that is uh, we are using as a shortcut and we are getting information on your screen directly without any uh, without any headache so 
but at the background free is getting some information from some another location now what is that location so there is one folder in your operating system that is proc inside that proc we have one more this file mam info so free is getting the information from this file basically this file is basically uh, related to the memory now if i uh, read this file then proc mam info see so if you see in this file it's showing us memory available if you convert this kb into gigabyte it will be 9 gigabyte how much free we have how much available we have how much total we have how many much is used by buffer cache swap how much is in active inactive how much total swap we have total swap free if you see this 5177340 in kb 5177 something like that see same output we are getting here and if you see the total 10252068 something like that number see same number we have here so this file is updating on real time and the same command this command is updating on real time because at the end free is taking the output from this file only so this is all about the free command if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe the channel and if you have any doubts just post your doubts into the comment box and you can reach me over the linkedin also i will happy to help your doubts thank you for this video let's meet in the next video